guys, Dan here with another quick trade paperback review. This time I'm reviewing Descender Volume 5. And on the back, it's got a blurb in bright red font that says, Robots Will Rise. So, and plus, one thing I want to say before I really get into the thick of this review, if you have not read any of the previous four volumes of this series, please turn around, go back, um, I'm going to get spoilery. Um, I don't want to say something that's going to spoil, you know, anything for you if you've not read this series. So please turn back. I'm not going to be so spoilery that you're not going to want to read this, but I just got to say some things. I've got an unpopular opinion about this book. Um, it's still got amazing artwork, you know, the watercolors. I love the fact that, you know, it's all about, you know, childhood friends trying to reunite and the whole, like, main theme of robots versus humans. And that's where I kind of got to get into it. I really kind of, it's kind of getting to the point where I'm, I don't know, I don't like the fact that they consider all these different species of humanoids as being humans. I get it, they're not robots, but they're far from human. And that kind of irks me. Um, another thing that kind of really, really, I, I didn't like about this was they kind of crossed the line, and now they're stepping into fantasy. There's one planet, like, the group split in the last prior volume, and they're they're still kind of showing what's going on with the different groups and what they're experiencing and everything. And I kind of, I, this kind of turned me off and it made me, you know, vote this down one less star just because they're, they dipped into the elements of fantasy and like added creatures from, from fantasy. I mean, it's science fiction. Are you going to be science fiction or are you going to be fantasy? I mean, you I just, it, it, that's what really bugged me and really kind of irked me, like vampires and goblins, no. And a science fiction book, no. I mean, I know they do that kind of shit in Warhammer, and I'm not really a big fan of Warhammer either. But don't get me wrong, I still like the direction this is going. Um, the all-out cliffhanger at the end, which I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want to spoil it. But that was, that was really good. It kind of made me really enjoy this book. Um, I still think it's going in the right direction. I just think they need to step off from the fantasy element. Um, I, you know, I, a lot of people rated this four or five stars. But I only gave it a three out of five star rating just because of that fantasy element. I, I really felt it was unnecessary. Um, it kind of muddies the waters a little bit. I really don't feel that fantasy belongs in a story about humans versus robots. I'm sorry, but it just does not belong in the story. No. No, don't do it. But, I did like it. I will continue on with this series. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't feel as strongly about it as a majority of people on my friends list of Goodreads. They all loved it. And maybe they just overlooked that. It was like a two-page scene. Two or three-page scene. Maybe they just overlooked that. And they didn't care that much about it, but it kind of really, you know, I didn't feel that it was necessary for the story. So that's what I got for you. Of course, as always, I will put a link down below if you'd like to purchase a copy for yourself. Um, every, every purchase through that link helps me out. If you're not a subscriber and you're looking for more trade paperback, more comics, graphic novel reviews, please hit that subscriber link. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, later.